What is a subtle sign someone isn't a good person? Not owning up to their mistakes and always attributing it to someone or something else. I see you have met my mother. My mom's famous line when caught doing something wrong. Well, I didn't know. Instead of, I'm sorry. Littering. It's not a violent act or anything, but it does indicate a lack of respect that usually carries into other aspects of the person's life. Yes, kinda along the same lines of people who don't return their grocery cart. That lack of respect. A few weeks ago, I took my aunt to the pharmacy and sat out in the truck while she went in. I saw a woman go absolutely out of her way to return a cart to the corral. But then she got back to her vehicle and dropped a bag of fast food trash on the ground before she left. It was fucking baffling. Agree. The few people I've met who just think littering is fine definitely showed worse traits eventually. They share private information about others with you. 100% if they're sharing to you. They're sharing about you as well. Someone who is incapable of reflecting. They are the center of their own universe. They are unable to grasp the big picture or how they fit within it. Everyone has a place in the larger picture, which is their small view of the world. They believe that respect is earned but demanded immediately from you. Or, conversely, when they love to constantly say, with all due respect, right before they disrespect someone. If someone is due no respect then technically, with all due respect, is still accurate. It's simply that there's no respect due. Casual unnecessary lying. This. My ex came across as the nicest person ever. Soft-spoken, never wanting to offend anyone. Ignoring problems because he was non-confrontational. Friends with everyone. You know the type. It took years for me to realize he just needed everyone to like him at any cost. You are right. But I'd like to point out that there's also a possibility of an abusive childhood. Sometimes I still lie for no reason and it's very much because I spent my entire childhood doing it. I'm working on it. But man, it's like my mouth moves faster than my brain. Abuse former child here. I catch myself lying a lot, and it's about stupid shit that literally would never matter. When you're used to covering your ass, it almost becomes natural to lie about anything and everything. I try to catch myself, but it's really hard. It's unfortunately just wired in there as part of my personality, and I'm terrified I can't break it. When they see someone else's progress or success as a threat. Had someone on Twitter say, It's bad if they fail, but even worse if they succeed. Regular put-downs that are disguised as jokes. I'm talking about jokes that they either carry on long after everyone else has stopped, or alternatively legit insults that they will only claim is a joke if you get upset. True. It's always low when friends insult you physically and tell you when you get offended or you retaliate, it's just a joke. They have a habit of talking bad about other people behind their backs and spreading gossip and rumor. You can tell a lot about a person by observing how they talk about their peers behind their back. When a person occasionally vents by talking bad about someone, like their boss or classmate, because of some unpleasant experience, that's okay. We all do it. But when a person habitually talks shit about people behind their back, that's a big red flag. Yup, if they're dumping on someone to you, they're dumping on you to someone. When they talk about themselves, but then stop listening when you talk about yourself. Or worse, they interrupt you to start talking about something completely different while you're talking. How they treat people in the service industry. When they act like they are better than waiters, fast food employees, or retail workers. I heard about a small business owner who used that as a litmus test for management perspectives. He set it up with his favorite restaurant and would stay in the kitchen. The wait staff would tell him how the prospective candidate was treating them while he made them wait a half hour for him. Passively aggressively insulting you in front of a group of people in such a way that you can't say anything back without looking like you're the emotional one even though you know that they intentionally insulted you to disrespect you. Doesn't help other people unless it benefits themselves. Or only helps others when there's an audience and praise involved. They try too hard to prove they're a good person. True, watch out for people who call themselves empaths. I used to say I'm super empathetic before empath became a trend but now to protect myself and remind myself, I say I'm compassionate. I am not empathetic anymore and don't want to be because it's not fun at all. All I know is I'm super sensitive to people's energies 
emotions and that's it. It's fucking codependent bullshit from an abusive childhood that I don't want anymore but it has kept me alive. However, I'm done riding that roller coaster and have found safety in life and boundaries. Compassion has boundaries. By the way the ones running around calling themselves empaths have no self-awareness at all which I don't know why but I find very ironic. Like they can read everyone, they can't, except themselves. All their exes are crazy and nothing negative is ever their fault. They're only nice when things are going their way. When you think they are really great people, responsible kind good, but then after a while you look back on situations and realize you had been duped, and they are incredibly manipulative. I think it's incredibly subtle with some people, where it's not immediately obvious they are terrible, but then suddenly it hits you. In my experience, it usually starts out subtly, or in such small doses that you brush it off as a quirk or a momentary lapse of judgment because they are such nice people otherwise. Then, they take the fact that they can manipulate you for granted and get clumsy. It gets to the point where the dam breaks, and you just recognize the pattern, from the obvious lies and crap on down, as an inherent part of their personality. They mistreat animals. Not even subtle. That's a red flag the size of a football field. And the flip side would be watch if animals avoid them. They are nice to a few people and an a-hole to the rest. I've noticed that a lot of people find it easy to ignore someone being rude, mean or a general a-hole to others just as long as that person is nice to them. Personally I think it's a matter of time until they also are on the receiving end of the bad behavior. I used to have a business partner who acted like that. I once got into a disagreement with one of his longtime friends over how shitty my partner treated everyone. But he's nice to me and you. Sure, but that's not what counts. He was an a-hole to everyone else, and he should have been judged by how he treated the people that didn't benefit him. They demand forgiveness instead of asking for it. I said I was sorry, it's done now. Get over it. They react negatively to others' accomplishments. I.e pointing out something negative about a person being praised. The confusion. When the stories don't add up, they smirk at the wrong times and try to present themselves as a hero. Heroes don't explain to you why they are heroes. It's a subtle sign that they are actually not. Your pet dies. Them, dude, it's just an animal. I had someone at my old job call in because his cat of ten years passed away and people were mad because he called in. I would be an emotional wreck if my cat passed away and I would call in too. That makes me so angry. People who have never done anything wrong. If you've known a person for any amount of time and you've never heard them say, I'm an a-hole, I fucked up. They are probably a terrible person and will victimize you in ways you can't imagine. On the flip side, if you meet someone who tells you up front that they're an a-hole, believe them. And if someone say they're blunt, or I say what other people won't, or other people don't like me because I'm honest. Just run. Far and fast. And on the flip side, if you screw up and apologize to them, and they respond by bashing you and telling you all the ways you suck. Like, dude, I know I screwed up. I'm apologizing to you. You don't need to continue to beat me up for it. Especially if it was a fight or mutual disagreement, and they could reciprocate by apologizing for their part in it, but choose to just dump on you instead. I'm perfect and let me tell you all the ways you suck. If they're dismissive of what you have to say or want to share. If they dismiss conversation with people they aren't sexually attracted to, red flag. Bad person. Borrowing money and claims he already paid it back. Borrowing tools, clothing and breaking or ruining them. By this time you should cut all ties. When you're going out and they judge or make a rude comment about a random person passing by. Quando Levin Misi sin Sabir Ningen video a su canal de YouTube. What is a subtle sign someone isn't a good person? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.